Okay, so I did take my finger and put it in the paint over here and put little dots in the center of some of these fractals that I wasn't really crazy about. But I also think I might put like one more dot of ink more. It's one of those things, it's like you should stop, but I'm not. Um, so I'm gonna take like the purple and on these green ones, I'm just gonna try to put just a single dot inside the paint that's inside these. So just one drop. And one drop here and see what happens in those. See if I can get some crazy frac fractionation happening on those. I can actually see, and it looks, I actually kind of like that I put the paint in the center there. I'll do that over here too. I think those, that kind of worked really, really well. Isn't it funny? You try different things and you're like, oh, I like that. I didn't really think about it, but these kind of look like Mardi Gras colors. I really should have thought about that, and it is about that time. Mm. So then on the purples, I think I might add the green and see if that looks. And I'm hoping they won't look too muddy on me doing this, but I do like, like the one over here is fractionating and the, the, that really well. I think the alcohol ink is kind of drying, so it has been a while. Okay, I kind of like the white centers on the purple, so I'm gonna stop um, and not put any more on. Um, I might add more paint, like all I did was scrape up the paint here till I got a nice good coating and then like where I get a drop, I just take the drop and put it in the center and you can swirl it or do whatever you can do with it based on how much paint you have on your finger. But a lot of times you get a lot of paint and I actually do like the a mixed color of the yellow and the white in the centers. So I just kind of do that again. But it did give me some fun fractionation happening there. And just have fun. Your paintings are supposed to be fun. What you do is supposed to be fun. Um, do it, play with it until you're happy. Um, your paintings are for you. way back in that corner. I want to put some more paint in there. I don't think I need to put paint on all of them. Put a little dab on some of them. I think it just kind of makes them have some more um, visual appeal. Like I said, play with your paintings the way you like. Um, if, like I sa said, you can actually, um, if you don't like how it split between two of them, just add the paint between it. And, um, like I have some fractal things happening there, which are kind of fun. And I'm trying to make sure that I have paint on all sides, though, too. fun paint here. That's one thing about pores, you definitely use lots and lots of paint. And then if you want to pick them up and um, like have them um, drain to one side or the other, you can do that. I kind of did that with this one and it drained a little bit to this side, if you can see right here. I picked it up and tilted it um, toward my right here. Also, have fun with the painting. That's what it's 
喝的。Okay, this is how they're drying, and I'm not really crazy about the way they're looking, so I may paint over them. But I'll get a really good close-up so you can see what they look like. Take your hand here, and so here you can actually see there is some of the fractionation in these areas here.、Um, But it's not quite what I, I was hoping for,、um, so it's not quite drying with the vibrant colors. I know if I put resin over the top of it,、um, they pop a little bit more. But、uh, again,、uh, not exactly what I was hoping for.、Um, that fractionation right there, I think, is probably the best that I got going on there. But again, not crazy about it, so I think I'm gonna paint over them. I'll let them finish drying, and then I'll paint over them. Okay, this one. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to just start putting the inks on and seeing if I can get the freckle to happen. This is almost the the paint. I don't have wet paint underneath it. It's all dry paint.、Um, as you can tell, these were the freckles I did yesterday. And this is just with the ink, just adding drops of ink. So I'm adding about two or three drops on top of each other. And I do kind of like the way this is working. Oops, that was four drops. A little more. And the green here. So four on the green. I'm gonna let it sit for a second and see if these spread out anymore. You can see it spreading here. I'm wondering if it's gonna go this way. Maybe just the way it's tilted. Spots. I'm gonna just add some ink.
And I kind of like the colors as they're dark, and I'm going to see if that stays. And I'm going to add some purple on some of the other spots that I had purple. So green in the center, and purple on the edges, and just see if those grow. drop of alcohol. Ooh, do you see how fast they dry? That's kind of interesting over here, how that one dried that fast. This way, that one's going this way. These actually dry really fast. I do like the colors though once they dry. They're just a deeper purple. So I think I'm going to do the same thing over here and work on those a little bit something I like a little bit better. I'm going to work with more green over here too. I'm going to try the white all by itself in one of the areas and see what it looks like. I maybe should be wearing gloves. <laughs> These inks come off in um, alcohol, so it's not that big a deal, but um, maybe something to think about. see the difference between the two. This one was the done yesterday and this is what I've done today. Let me try this white over here. Find some of these spots. And then I'm going to add greens and purples over there too. I just think the inks look so much prettier, maybe just by themselves. Mm. Paint's kind of a nice little base underneath, but you really don't need it as much. So add it more green here, green here, and green there. There's more purple there. Like I said, I just kind of like how the inks um, 
sit on those a little bit better um, with not as much like forcing them. Now I'm adding some alcohol on top of them to see if I can get them to move. You can see how these are drying so fast, which is kind of cool. The white mixed with the green here, where the white, there was no green underneath these. These whites stayed. This one seems to be tilting this one a little bit. Um, not getting a lot of movement, but again, this, these are dry canvases. But yesterday they were wet with paint. And I do kind of like the, the look. I am going to kind of come up to the edges on some of them, like here, and put a drop here so maybe it goes over the edge a little bit, and then make sure that edges, and get my edges, get some ink on the edges. Kind of like it coming out to the edges a little bit more. Still have some refractual stuff happening here, but. I'm seeing my ink on the edges here. That'd be kind of fun. I do that on some of my green sides. She kind of like the ink. Um, wish the white on this one would have stayed more white, so I'm gonna try some more white on this one, like right here on the edges. Because I think the white next to these is gonna be pretty. This one didn't spread as much. I'm going to try to pull the purple this way. Actually having kind of fun. I know this isn't really doing the fractal thing, but I really like these inks on on here. And I just kind of like the way they're kind of playing together. Tell me what you think. Well, I'm sure these will be really pretty. I'm going to resin them so they'll be real shiny. Um, they'll have more of a shine to them. Uh, I think that's going to really make them pop. I'm 
not sure how I do with these. I think I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then come back and look at them, but I'm happier with what I'm seeing here than what I did yesterday. So you guys will kind of see where I started, where I moved forward, and um, how I changed everything. And um, just using um, these inks, these were fairly cheap inks, so I'm sure um, there are some nicer inks that would probably give you more fractionation, so I'm gonna try different inks. I'm gonna stop this real quick. Okay, so these are the inks that I got off of eBay, I mean, not eBay, off of Amazon. I think they were $17 and it's deco deco rom um inks um they come like this so um lots of really pretty colors and i just use the green the purple and the white um, i'll try some other colors and try different canvases these were pretty small canvases again my hand they're probably the um, five by seven, so they're not really big canvases. Um, maybe even smaller than that. So pretty small canvases. And that one hasn't dried yet, so we'll come back when that dries. But I, like I said, I'm really like having more fun with these today and really enjoying um, what's happening here with these colors. So day three, I've put drops on these and they're all getting um, little um, rings around them and we'll let it dry and see what it looks like tomorrow. So this is what it's looking like right now with the ink that has been layered on top of it. And I'm actually kind of liking this. I'm liking these and I'm thinking I might take some ink and combine it into this and make it a mixed media. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> 